Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gagnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? It's the Ramble. Here we are. Here we go. Here goes nothing, right? Uh, here, here goes nothing. Uh, and uh, oh, over there, uh, uh, right there. What are you looking down for? They can't see your face. You, you, you look like you know. You look like. Um, um, our guest who always only is like from the nose up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I was just watching Damon. He did it in under a minute. Actually, I think he did Damien. it in under. Yeah, he does it really he did fast. Like thirty seconds. I wish Jack Bishop would do it that fast. I was going to say the other night. Be the other night he didn't get it done till two thirty in the Are morning. You serious? And I sit around, and my deal is I have to sit here. And post the shows and put them up so they're on the on demand and everything. I love watching Damien. And so Damien I gotta wait. Uh, Damien. Damien's uh, great. I sit. Uh, boom, 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 out. Usually I post his shows uh, uh, while I've got like an interview going with Bubs, and I mean I can go there right um, after. Yeah. He, it's it's ready. It's ready to go. Yeah. 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 He just he's he's. Damien, uh, you're the best. Damien. I said Damien. You said Damon. I did not. You said Damon. Fuck you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? <laughs> what What did you say? You heard me. Did you say fuck you? You heard what me. What kind of an answer? I, I said whatever I said. Because you're always on my case, and I'm tired of I'm it. I'm not on your case. case. You want my case in the bedroom? You want my case here? What do you mean I'm on your case? Well, how is I on your case in the bedroom? I don't bedroom? want to argue. You talk. No. No. Yes. Oh. No, let's talk. Let's, I don't want to argue. To you. Come on. They like it when we argue. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't care. Huh? Oh, you're just, you're, you've used the word fuck twice already well, and the show's we're, we're hardly not, We're started. not on a network. Yeah. <laughs> we're, below, we're below sea level here. <laughs> I, 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 I think you hate me. Today I do. Tonight I did, actually. Really? Well, the way you had your little pissy fit. Well, no, yeah. I mean, God okay. forbid I don't put two eyeballs and stare at the television program that he wants to watch. I could do two things, you know, Alex. As a matter of fact, you fall asleep so? doing something I want to so watch. So what? what? And then that? all of a sudden when there's some dopey movie on that you found on Netflix, that you stay awake for. I... The first couple things I watch when I come home from work, I do fall asleep. Well, I admit that. Well, then I won't watch anything that I want to have somebody enjoy with me. Whatever. I mean, what does it bother you if I fall asleep? It bothers me. Uh, because I want some company when I'm watching. You have something. company. I mean, I can, go in the, I can go in the guest room and watch it. And well, not, then do that. And not have to watch you sleep. Well, I don't have to hear your lip. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. I, I, you were so nasty. Okay, I'm saying that I want a divorce. Okay. Okay. You'll pay for it. Well, what do you mean I'll pay <laughs> for it? You want it. Take it. Get it. Oh, you mean, in other words, I can't get out of this unless you, I pay for well, it? Well, you're the one that wants it. Well, I'm, I, 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 if, it, yeah, and when I go to court and the judge says, uh, uh, Alex, uh, why? Uh, I'm going to say because she doesn't stay awake during TV shows. That's right. I don't think that's going to fly, do you? I hope it does. <laughs> I don't think that will fly. You were so nasty, and you never apologize. You just storm uh, out of the oh, room. Oh, oh. oh, if you're going to go to sleep, I'm going to go in the other room. I apologize. Apology accepted. <laughs> For now. For now. For now. Why do I have to apologize? Because for? you started... Bad mouthing me, and then you walked out of the I room. Didn't bad mouth you did too. You started hollering at me because I, I nodded out or because I was looking at my iPad. God forbid I should. Oh, yeah, but then something goes wrong with the iPad, and who's the first person you ask to fix it for you? Hey, that's your job. All my mail isn't coming in. Well, it's true. Well, that's because you use that fucking Gmail. Well, I can't help it. I, I mean, the nyc.rr.com didn't exactly work out. 
But you never used it. That was my only mail that I used. Oh, well, you could use, I, you have a GabNet address. I don't have a GabNet address. Yes, you do. I'm not changing again. It took me two years to get everything changed. Well, what changed. I'm saying about it, here, here's what the problem is with Gmail that I don't like. I agree with you. I like to know that I can, say, eliminate my mail here, but it still well, that's what isn't I, eliminated until I completely delete it. Well, that's what it. I thought, because especially like with CIDIC, there's a lot of stuff. I have to go back a couple of years. No, but you're not Gmail on CIDIC. No, I'm not, but I mean, I like it that way. I didn't realize that yeah, this I mean, did G it. Gmail, it will stay, okay? I mean, uh, rather, your CIDIC will stay. But Gmail is, it's a thing called, uh, the two things. There's IMAP, and then there's the, it's POP, and then there's IMAP, and it's IMAP. And what happens is, is and, and I, iCloud is the same way, by the way. Your Apple Cloud is the same way. Uh, it's not POP, it's IMAP. But, but and so if you erase something on any one of the machines that you have... It appears on everything. It, it disappears on all of them. So I thought I was them. saving them on the iPad, just getting rid of them in the office. Yeah. Uh. yeah. You know, you're getting rid of... If, if, it's, if it's either iCloud... That's why a GabNet, on GabNet, when I got the GabNet.net uh, email address, uh, which I pay a decent amount of money for every year. Yeah, but if I switch but, over. Or they wanted me to do an IMAP account. And I said, no, I want a POP account. Because I didn't, I didn't want that kind of thing that if I, you know, if I move it over to, I think if you move it over to a save thing, in other words, into a mail Another bo box, a folder, a folder. It will remain there, okay? Uh, but it, I, I don't know. It's 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 ridiculous, and that's why I don't use Gmail. That's why I tried Gmail because you know what happened was we, and this this happens a lot when you when, when you, you switch when, when you, you switch, switch from from, from uh, Spectrum if, if from Time Warner if Time Warner yeah from Roadrunner to uh, uh, to uh, uh, FiOS. We, Fios does not have email addresses, by the way. Which is weird. Well, they just don't. I, I think they figured... The, the, isn't that AT&T? Yeah, uh, no. No, Fios is an AT&T. What did AT&T... Fios is Verizon. What did AT&T just buy? What what cable company? Uh, what did they just buy? They bought CNN and a whole bunch of things. Oh. Like HBO. Yeah, they bought Time Life. That's what they ah, bought. Time okay. Warner. Whatever. Anyway, uh, they don't give you, they, Fios doesn't give you an email address. Most companies do, but Fios doesn't. But if, I go but to, that, but if I switch to gabnet.net, no. then in another year or something, you're going to say, oh, I don't want this anymore, and then I'm going to be stuck again. I'll probably keep paying for it every year anyway, yeah, just, just, just to be able to keep that address. It's just, I thought it was easy. Okay, this is funny. I thought it was easy. What ah, was easy? My my email address, you can all know because you can all write me because nobody wants to fucking write me anyway. Nobody right. wants to talk to old people. Is alex at gabnet.net. Right, that makes sense. Very simple, okay? Yesterday, I'm on with the hospital trying to get my x-rays, and she says, what's your email address? And I say, alex, A-L-E-X, at gabnet.net and she says rabnet <laughs> labnet frabnet I went look it's g-a-b-n-e-t she says e-e-n-e -E. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it because I thought I had come up with the simplest well I have the same thing mine is okay mills so she says what's your e email address and I say okay mills she thinks I'm saying okay so what I say to now, I say, it's the letters, O-K-M-I-L-L-S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. to do it that way. But so, you know, it's alexagabnet.net. It couldn't be simpler. Couldn't be simpler. Uh, and uh, what happened was, because Fios didn't give an email address, and because I was going to lose mine immediately, see, there should be a law that if you uh, uh, leave a cable company. Well, like a telephone. Or, you could take your telephone number with well, you. Well, you should be able to take that with you or you should be able to pay like $5 a month to keep to it. To keep it. You know, but no, they don't, they say no, no, nothing you can do to keep it. The only way you can keep it is you gotta have our minimum service for like $20 a month or something. Jesus. And then you can keep your address. Well, I didn't like the address anyway. It was a Bennett at nyc.rr.com, and and people go, what? Why so many dots? <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, um, uh, this was pretty simple all the way around, and uh, uh, 
so I, I, I had to go get something, so I went to Gmail, but I didn't like it, it. I just found that I didn't like the fact that it was an IMAP system and that it's simply if I took something off of it or I took something off of my iPhone or my iPad or whatever, but I wanted to leave well, it on my machine. That was my thing. I yeah. was deleting it in the office thinking, well, I have no problem. I, I have it here. And I went to look for the video to send mm -hmm. to my friend Ruth, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find it. It was gone. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what happens. So, um, you know, that that's... Uh, so, yeah, you're my IT person. So, everything IT is no, you. So, but what I was going to say is, is that, um, uh, number one, cable companies should be forced to at least offer you for a year after you stop leave. some... Leave. Okay. If you have so many years with them or so much time, if you're only with them for three months and then you leave, fuck you, you know. But that that's not the that's not the well, case. Well now that, that the internet is going private, it's <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, so I mean we we should you should be able to keep your email address. So I I went out and I bought my own e email address. So I can have I can get one that? You are on it. How am I on that? I gave you an address. When? Don't give me that silly look. I gave look, you look. an address. I told you. Don't look at me with those sad droopy eyes. I told you. Don't look at me with No, I, you don't listen to me. I told you a long time ago that you have that address. Well, maybe it's your tone. Mm. No, but it's it's whatever what? is the first part. Okay, Mills. Look, now everybody knows and they'll all write you on it now. It's all right. Nobody else writes me. Nobody wants to talk to old people. Yeah. But uh, you know, you you have an account at Gabnet. So does um, so does uh, Jack Bishop. Jack at gabnet.net. <laughs> uh, no, uh, is it something else? It's, it, no, it's something else. Gabnet. His other name? Net. Yeah. His other name? Yeah, I think it's Jay Bishop at gabnet.net. But you see, the great thing about having the gabnet.net, I you could have almost anything. You know how when you go to you go to something like oh Apple and you want to have your uh, Apple account, uh, you go, okay, I want A. Bennett. And they go, I'm oh, sorry, taken. Uh, a. Bennett uh, uh, 1, nah, taken. Uh, a. Bennett 1, 2, uh, <laughs> taken. 3, no, taken. Uh, a. Bennett 5 million, taken. You That's know. how I got the okay on my Mills, because Mills was taken. That's my nickname. Yeah, and that's how I got the okay in front of it. Yeah, so so uh, uh, you know that was a the reason why I uh, 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 you know uh, why I was so happy. What were you going to move? It's ten eighteen. Oh, you asked. <laughs> that was the reason I was so happy. Because that I got the cabinet.net. And nobody else has it. Because the first name I want to use, I can use Alex. I can use a Bennett. I have that as well. I can have. Uh, uh, okay, Mills. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail <laughs> at uh, gabnet.net. So uh, it, it, it's, it's good if you can get your own email address. Thank God there was no other gabnet.net, but it was based on the fact that I already had an account. Can you get it with a com, a C-O-M at the end? Well, no, I, um, I, wa I originally wanted gabnet.com when I got gabnet. Um, but unfortunately, there is gabnet.com. Are you serious? Yes. It is, it, it's, uh, where is it, Brazil or something like that. And it stands for something Brazil something or another. Stop it. Uh, Gabnet. I'm trying to remember uh, who the other Gabnet is. Wait a minute. I, uh, if, I just, if I just go to it, if I just... Uh, uh, so I could have okmills.com? Huh? No. I could have an okmills.com? Well, if you com? want to go buy yourself... No, I'm saying just theoretically. No, the reason, see, the reason I was able to get Gabnet.net at the end was because I own Gabnet.net for a website. Oh, so th it's already there. It's already there. All right, but and I took I, originally I didn't want it to have .net, but then Gabnet .net seemed very right. But wait a minute, we, I got to remember what is that uh, other? Oh, hell, I, I can't. I can't type anymore. By the way, I tell you, you can. That. I can't write anymore. Gab, Gabnet .com. Okay, and up comes yeah. The German, uh, German uh, yeah, the German academic brain pool. 
<laughs> Gabnet. <laughs> yeah. Gab. Who does all that research, if it exists or not? How do they do that? Uh, I, I have no it's idea. Probably in some big computer. No, but they, they, they simply, they have German academic, what, a brain pool, and then G-A-B, they said net. Taken. So they went Gabnet, right? So I, anyway, I like, but Gabnet's on that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, you know, it's fine. Nobody ever, nobody ever gets confused with that. It's because nobody likes to talk to old people. Just because. Is that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> we aren't arguing enough. There's not enough people listening. Good. What are they writing here? Alex, your life is only useless if you believe it is. <laughs> Think outside the box, you know? There's a bunch of creative things you can do from home, you know? <laughs> and respect her, okay? Thank you. Thank you, whoever wrote that. AT&T bought DirecTV. Yeah, they bought DirecTV, but they also bought uh, Time Warner. Um, because all these companies are... are Which means that they have an are, internet. They have well, a... No they're, they're, oh. no, they're buying they're buying companies now that have, um, uh, what do you call it, um, um, programs and uh, stuff that they can sell, right? So if they own HBO, right. they can go, hey, you know, come with us at AT and T, and we'll give you AT, we'll give you HBO for free for a year, uh, for free. Yeah, um, you know, uh, I suspect that Netflix will be bought sometime soon. Bye. I don't know. Did you hear Apple's going to start making movies? Oh, that's they've been saying that making movies. Well. <laughs> Things. TV shows. TV shows. Well, they, that's been in, in the works for quite a while. Oh, what? They already have something up. What is it? A couple of things they've got. Nobody's paying attention to it. I mean, it's outside of Apple's wheelhouse. You yeah, know? yeah. It's not what they do best. What they do best is charge you an incredible amount of money for equipment. You know. But no, what they do best is 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 uh, innovations with the phone business and so on. Getting into programming because everybody else is, you know, it's getting to be such a glutted. They're better with hardware. Well, it's such a glutted uh, uh, place now. All this stuff. I find, for instance, that Amazon's kind of in it, but they aren't. Oh, they're definitely in it. No. Oh yes. Not like Netflix. Well, Netflix is Netflix. I mean, Amazon a- does Amazon other puts up a new program maybe once a month. Yeah, but Netflix you know. is that's all they do. Yeah. It's programming. Yeah, but it um, it looks like uh, there was some talk that they're 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 willing to sell. Who Netflix? Netflix. Yeah. Who's going to buy? That'll I don't be know. interesting. It's worth a lot of money. Oh yeah. It it is a very valuable company right now. Unlike Facebook, Facebook <laughs> that what eight hundred and eighty billion. Yeah. Yeah. So did you hear our president today and all, uh, uh, all about his... Um, his fucking lying. His, his lying about the economy. Well, he lies about everything. Well, no, the thing is... That, yeah. He's already talking about... Wait, wait, wait. Well. He's already saying, well, it's really the Russians are, are helping the Democrats because if they lose in November, then he has a good excuse. I don't know if you remember, but two years ago, before the election, he was saying, if I don't win, then it's there's something wrong with this with this election. It's... It's thrown. Yeah, it's yeah. But he was uh, out uh, touting how the uh, the gross national product was uh, just uh, just uh, at, a, at an all time high. Well, he was wrong. It was higher under Obama. Uh, that at least at four times during uh, the Obama administration, the GNP was higher than it is right now. And he took it out of the sewer. Huh? He took the. He had he, to take it out of the sewer. He, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, you know, so he's bragging about stuff which, quite frankly, he's not. He's not all that responsible for. Also, a lot of the 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 business going good right now had a, had, still has a lot to do with the after effects of Obama. Yeah, but he'll never but, but that. He, he, you know. He would claim if it were a sunny day that he was responsible for it. You know. Well, especially if it was something that Obama did. <laughs> he hates Obama. He hates Obama. Yeah. Uh, but but anyway, so uh, you know, uh, 
And, and uh, it's nice to know there a lot. You know, the the we're down to about a four percent uh, unemployment rate, which is very good. It's very good. However, wages are going very down. Good. They're going down. They're going down. So you got people with jobs, but they're getting paid less than they got paid before. And they're working two and, and three jobs. And I'm still out of work. You know, where's my job? Anybody <laughs> going to hire me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because, uh, you know, when we talk about uh, uh, equal opportunity, that does not include old people, folks. Right? It's true. The only people that believe in equal opportunity that includes old folks are the people she works for, the Chinese. You know? Yeah. And they. Uh, These guys are making so much money. Who? my company really yeah not me i'm just on salary yeah yeah so anyway so it's a 10 20 i noticed in the picture i've got everything framed just right so the on the air sign shows twice because you see we got the on the air sign there and then it's coming from another out angle from you should i roll over no not yet It's, it's not time yet it's getting there next week i've got to reset your camera I've got to set you up so that you're a little higher in the frame. But I don't care. You know. Anyway, so um, um, we took care of our email. And, uh, uh, and I, you know, um, I, I just think that uh, I think everybody in America should have a free email address. <laughs> you know, the, but the thing is about Gmail, you've got to use their system. And so that's what your problem was. And you didn't realize that no matter what you do, if you, if you um, move your mail uh, on a Gmail or get rid of your mail online, which you go to your mail a lot online, you get rid of it there, it, it's gone off your iPhone. Yeah, and my iPad, your, and, and iPad. the computer here. And the computer here. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's... Uh, so if you want something for history, you don't have it. Uh, well, uh, you know something I have to play with, it, but I think there is a way. I, I think you can put it in a folder and it'll stay there, and you can still get rid of it, and it won't get it, take it out of the folder. But yeah, I'll, I have I'll, a couple of folders, and the stuff stays in there. And the stuff stays in there. Yeah. I have to check it out. But you know, but on just on your Gmail account and yeah. on your Apple accounts, on on uh, well, that's all you have. So you know, well, you have the Citic. The Citic, and different. I have CC Trash. Yeah. C- CC truck. Yeah. Well, they don't exist anymore. Well, they're still existing. I mean, they're keeping the office, but nobody has been there for two days. It's so empty at that she, end. She was in an office where they... they we her, shared it with... Her company, her invested. company invested in another company. That's a so, hedge fund that sold... Um, that. So that company needed offices so that we, you then shared the office with them. Yeah. So now they were about two-thirds of them. More than that. Yeah, the, 75%. 75%. 75%. And now they're gone. Well, they're not gone. I mean, the lease is under their name till March. I know, but it's empty. It's empty, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's you and, what, three other guys. Yeah, and, and they travel. <laughs> and they travel. <laughs> so it's like the old days. It's like the old days where she used to be in an office and, and nobody was there. 2,500 square Ever. feet. Yeah. Well, so we're see. looking for space. Yeah. Okay. It's tw- nine, ten twenty nine. I'm coming over. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. You know, I got to do a little, little a changing here of, of, of stuff. All right. Jeez. Now Jeez. you can come over. Yay. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me see here. I got to get open up the Skype lines. Uh, if anybody wants to call tonight, I, I doubt if they do. So. Uh, Is it a fill free night? Huh. No, why would it be a fill? Why would it be a fill free night tonight? Huh? Let me see here. Well, I guess we're we're uh, we're open for business. Can you move your coffee and, and the microphone? Uh, here we go. She tells me what to do, folks. She tells me what to do. Let me see here. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering, is this going to be okay? I guess it's going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Call in. No? Um, we need to have people call in because I'm, I'm wondering if we have any. 
uh, if we have any people uh, out there and I know I want uh, 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 there, there, yeah, 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 anybody? Anybody there that's green? Yeah, okay, so we are on. Okay, I want, I need to make sure that we're on. Okay, so now all we need are people to call. I hope we, I hope because I'm, you know, the screen is different tonight than it normally is. Louise, call in. What? Louise, she listens. Uh, Renee says aloha all. I wish Renee would call. Thank you, somebody, Louise. I just read your message. Somebody should call me so I know that <laughs> this is. Oh, working. Renee! 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 Call in. Oh, here, here I'm still. Uh, okay. Here we go. I was, I was afraid because the screen looks different tonight. You know, a, 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 as they're playing with this whole thing. There he is. Here we go. Here, hey. Here's Phil, and uh, there you are. There you go. Uh, what, what? Good evening. What? Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening. You know, I, Marjorie, I get up almost as early as you do, and I'm able to. Well, I guess it's later there. I get up a quarter to four. I get up at five, five thirty. I'm at Starbucks at five thirty. Uh, <laughs> I'm in my office at six. Yeah. Even though uh, pizza's better coffee, but she, she It is. Do you have pizza in uh, New York? No. No. Well, there's a business. You know, open up Pete's. Yeah. For the one cup of coffee that I drink a day, that's fine. Yeah, well, he'll give you a discount. I do a cup of coffee and then a cup of tea. Right now tonight I do coffee. I do coffee on Friday nights because I figure if I don't get to sleep early, hell with it. You know, hey, you know I thought about opening up a coffee shop in Berkeley once, and but the only thing I could come up with was the name for the decaf coffee. I'd call it nuclear-free coffee. <laughs> I, I um, um, yeah, I had to be up uh, early today because I was expecting something oh, to come by noon. I told you it came. See, here it is. Alex Bennett's chest or oh. back, back. Oh, oh, oh so you got uh, the yeah, your um, uh, X-ray. X-rays, yeah. So I can. Show them to my uh, what do you physical, call therapist. physical therapist. Yeah, yeah. Which and uh, so uh, were they able to see anything? Did they show you anything that no, uh, I been indicated able, I, an I, issue? I haven't been able to take it into them yet, Phil. I got yeah, it well, today. Did you, did you watch it? I yeah, I did. Uh, you can only watch it using a viewer that comes with it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I it's look software, at it. It's a software, isn't it? Yeah, and it. Uh, well, I really wished it would be like you know. A, it's a, a software. It's software, but the pictures are not a standard kind of picture. In other words, it's not like it's an MPEG or something like that. It's it's a. I can't remember the the, what they call yeah, it. Yeah, and you can't convert it. Yeah, and you can't convert it. Which I wanted to do because I wanted to put it up on my Facebook page because I put up my colonoscopy. Why not? You, you know, uh, what if you have it on the monitor and you take a screenshot? I might. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Phil. I hadn't thought about that. That might. Uh, that might that work. Might work. Okay. Yeah. 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 But anyway, so uh, uh, you know, I, I, but I look at the X-ray and I can't see how anybody sees anything there. Well, yeah. that's why you do what you do, and they do what they do. You know. Yeah. I mean, I noticed that I have. That's why they get paid the big bucks, that, Alex. That I have a big curved yeah. spine now. No, I, you know, I, 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 I have the curved that. spine. You have a curved spine. You have scoliosis. I have scoliosis, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, Boy, stenosis, a and herniated discs. I can tell you what I have. Here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, everybody, if anybody knows what any of this means, uh, yeah. you know, you look at this and you go, wow, really? Is they were able to see all that in those fuzzy pictures of, in that x-ray? Uh, I have, uh, let me see here. It's like the emperor has no clothes again. They you know, they all say that this is what they see in the x-ray, but there's really nothing there. Frontal and lateral views of the lumbar spine were obtained. Comparison done. Minimal scoliosis with convexity towards left. What does so that curve mean? Is going means you lean left. Okay. We the always knew curve, that. The curve. Neural bone mineralization. 
There are five non-rib-bearing lumbar vertebrae, multi-level degenerative oh, changes. Good night. With, night. night, Phil. Good night. Uh, with facet uh, uh, arth arthropathy and intervet, inter oh boy, this well, one there. Anyway, bilateral sacrally. Uh, you, you have heard? some subluxation of the spine. You also have uh, some of your discs are, um, are um, uh, degenerating. Uh, the facets are um, the little wings that are on the side of oh, the I vertebra. See. Oh, I see. So, in other words, my facets are uh, um, uh, with facet arthropathy. Uh, I got a feeling, I'm not sure what that means, but I think you got some arthritis. And intervertebral uh, disc height narrowing, most prominent at L4 and L5 and L5 and S1. Normal okay, so pedicels. Uh, um, stenosis. Nor nor normal pedicels. There's no uh, uh, evidence of acute fracture or uh, malignant or whatever. Anyway. No Bi cancer. What, bilateral so sacroiliac degenerative changes, no radiopaque foreign bodies their impression yeah donald trump no, no. no they're, they're doing an impression of donald trump no. multi-level degenerative changes yeah but yeah i read that attending physician note i personally reviewed the images and residents interpretation thereof and agree with the findings that's the same as saying i'm donald trump and i approved of this message right right uh you're just getting older uh you have a little the narrowing uh is what may be putting the pressure on the um, on the nerve that you're feeling in the leg. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they, that's why doctor figures. I, you know, that's what I got. You know. Now, a similar thing uh, was going on with uh, Joe Montana. Yeah. And uh, in his lower in his lower back, and they were able. He was young enough, and he's strong enough that they were able to do uh, sort of a rotor rooter in the spine in those uh, lower uh, vertebra. Mm -hmm. And he recovered very quickly. But I don't know, you know, at our age, your age, uh, I don't know that I'd touch it. Uh, well, I would just take um, uh, uh, Tylenol and call it a day. Well, I, I'm going to these, uh, this physical therapist, and it doesn't seem to be getting better. It, it maybe is a little better, a little better. Yeah. Do they have you hang upside down or do any of those things? No, no. You they, they did, know, those, uh, hang ups? They did the, like, uh, they did the uh, what is it, where the stimulation, the stim. Oh, okay. Electronic uh, stem. Well, that that helps, but that's more musculature. Well, whatever. I am, um, you know. I just I just want relief from the grief. Hey, how about that? I want some relief <laughs> from the grief. Yeah, yeah, there's no relief from the grief. This is it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, um, um, so I but enough of my medical stuff. But I just thought I would read you that because that that's what it says is there. But I have no idea when I look at it. I can't see anything. It just looks, nah. it looks nah. like I got a spine, which I actually doubted many times in my life. Now, this was an x-ray, not an MRI. This was an x-ray, yeah. yeah. He didn't even suggest an MRI, actually. I wonder why. Um, I guess he figured what he needed to know he could find out with an x-ray. Yeah. You know, or a, a CT, he could have done a CT scan, but he decided not to do that. Um... Oh, that's right. You don't like the MRIs. Well, no, I don't like them because I got claustrophobia. You hey, put me in an MRI do, machine, I'm crying like a little baby. I'm screaming. I'm yelling, you know. Well, if yeah. you do what it is that you fear, the fear will go away. Longfellow well, said well, that. Well, what you do well, is start. Well, fuck Longfellow. He's wrong. Yeah, well, just pull first pull the cover over your head. And then once you're comfortable no, with you that. See, that I'm fine with because yeah. I know I can take the cover off my head i don't feel it's the idea of being put in a tube mm -hmm. okay and not having much room to move inside that tube so you know. you've opted that you wanted a coffin and to be buried when you die now basically that's being put in the tube that and not being me. able to that move bo too far. that bothers me that bo bothers me i'm i'm thinking now maybe that the, the uh, uh, crispy, crispy critter approach may be the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the right answer. 
Is anybody else yeah. going to call us tonight, by the way? Last night, everybody started calling. Boom, 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 boom. You know? And uh, so, but tonight, it's just you and me. And we just lost a lot of people since yeah. she left. Talking about your medical stuff? Or? Huh? Oh, I, who knows? Oh, oh that's uh, uh, Marjorie's fans. I'm not going to talk about my medical stuff anymore. I'll leave that up to you. No, uh, that's that's okay. We you got Steve for that. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> you know, if I think I had it tough, you know. Yeah, I'm going to take the uh, the phone number off of here. Hold on a second. I'll get rid of that. Uh, so that um, yeah, because oh, I no, see the phone. nobody's nobody's calling anyway. So fuck them. Um, so anyway, um, uh, 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 you've been paying attention to the news at all, or do you? Are you getting to the point where you bit, don't care? But, you anymore? know, the the news that I get is yeah. interpreted differently than the news that you get. Uh, the news that I get says, "Hey, he's doing a great job, and four point one percent, and everybody's uh, ecstatic." And then, uh, and they're they're also. You had made a. You had alluded to the uh, a statistic for Obama that he had greater than 4.1 percent two or three times over the eight years that uh, he was president. Yeah. And uh, but the news that I heard said that his his average was like two or 2.1 percent. L- listen here. There were 15 quarters during Obama's administration. When the GDP growth sur- surpassed 2%, okay, right. there were eight quarters of growth of at least 3% and at least three of 4% or better. Okay. Uh, the the uh, latter part of his administration, I think growth was running around 1% or 1.2%. And um, uh, uh, one of the things that Trump ran on was that he was going to get the GDP up to and above 4%. And uh, here it is, uh, almost halfway into his... Well, listen uh, to this. The highest GDP growth of Obama's presidency was during the third quarter of 2014 when it hit 5.2%. All right. So that's much higher than is happening right now. But that's the anomaly that they're trying to say that Trump's uh, increase will not be sustainable. Well, we don't know what's going to happen to this increase. Right. Things go up, things go down. You know, right. just ask Facebook. Some of the news that they're saying is that part of the increase is the fact that since there was going to be all of these tariffs on soybeans, that China bought a shitload of soybeans uh, so that they could get it at pre-tariff prices. Could be. Um, uh but uh, the president said the country is growing at an amazing <coughs> rate and that we're on track to the highest annual average growth rate in over 13 years. Obviously, not it's not true. I mean, I have the statistics right here. 5.2% in uh, the third quarter of 2014 under Obama. Uh, he's sitting around crowing because it just went to 4.1%. Well, he's still got another percent point one to go. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, uh, although I hadn't heard all of those other things, but Jeff wanted to say something. Yeah, but I, and that. I got that from an unbiased uh, uh, source. It, it was just purely somebody was writing about uh, well, what they what the article was basically good. about was about that Trump Jr. said that uh, Obama never went over two percent, and that that was an absolute fucking that, lie. But that's what I heard on the news. Yeah, well, that, that was wrong. That's absolutely wrong, and, and I, these are the statistics to prove it wrong. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why I said I was yeah. getting uh, certain information you, uh, that was different from what you were saying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff? Jeff. Oh, well, what was I going to say? Um, you know, f- first of all, I, I agree with what Alex says about the statistics because I did a little bit of uh, looking about it today. And uh, obviously, they were the, these numbers were much better than than the four they are now, and and I don't even know if they're really at that four, even though know, they claim that. But the other part is, what the hell does the president have to do with it anyway? Well, that that's simple. Uh, they're saying that his tax cut, 
that his um, uh, reduction of uh, of um, what do you call it uh, 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 his, uh, of uh, restrictions and uh, his energy policy is what uh, drove the 4.1 percent. Well, let me ask you this: The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Uh, yes, there was a tax rate deduction. So yeah. that means the government is going to be getting less money from taxes. Am I right about that? No. Oh, really? Uh, where, there's two ways to look at that. Where is, it, where is it coming from, Phil? It comes from increased business, gives you more tax. Uh, so just because the percentage is lower, uh, what they do is well, you so collect far, more So far, we, we haven't seen the... the uh, the uh, whatever come home to roost because well, we, we may, may find out that we're going to have one hell of a deficit. Because Jeff, what of, was the GDP prior to Trump taking office? Um, you know? I'm not sure, but I don't know why. I think two or something like that, or okay. one. Uh, yeah, I think it was like 1.2. So I, there's there's been a big increase since he's taken yeah. office, and everybody said that once Trump came, but there in, was a the big increase. Crash, there was a the big increase. There was a big increase while Obama was president, and uh, none absolutely. of that was attributable to tax reductions or tariffs or any of that shit. Well, he ran the show the way he wanted to run the show. This guy's running the show this way, and so far, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, you know, the economy, if you're going to run on the economy, I think he's got a good story to run on. And, uh, you know, because... No, he's got a good story to run on. You know, he, somebody said today, and it's a very good point, Obama was, oh, the, the Democrats were always complaining about Obama, that he never touted the good things that were happening under his administration. He never did what Trump does and start tweeting, uh, "Hey, we're doing better with the with the with the GDP and so on." He just did his job and it went up and it did things, but he didn't he didn't do a lot of publicity on it. This president, if if the weather is good for a week, he'll take credit for it. You know, I mean, you know, uh, it, it's they have different styles. Does that mean that this guy's style is wrong okay, because okay, you like the okay, other guy's style but it, better? It, it, it's, it's natural attrition. And what goes up must come down. What, when this goes down, is, is, uh, is Trump going to get on the air and say, oh, I'm so sorry, but the GDP went down? It's my fault? But, but you know what? Uh, everybody is looking for those ups and downs. Uh, you're uh, sitting back. If you give the guy enough rope, you might get your way, but on the other hand, you might not. Maybe he was right. I mean, he's following the policies of, um, of, of Forbes, uh, the guy that ran for president. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was the son of Forbes? Uh, I, I read his book, too, and I, and I saw him at the Commonwealth Club. Uh, I, I listened to his lecture, but mm. he, um, you know, he, he was basically touting almost the exact same policies that uh, that that Trump is using right now, what and mean, what, you know, what, maybe what, they were right. And, and how does that because it's coming out of Forbes' mouth, it's right? No, I'm just citing the coincidence between Ford's, uh, I mean uh, Forbes's policy and uh, what Trump is doing. That that there happens to be a similarity. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Jeff. Well, I d I just happen to uh, have my little. Uh, mm -hmm. every couple months I have a meeting with my financial person yeah. and, and uh, with my wife and we sit down and go over some of the numbers and see what's going on and in the last quarter pretty much we're talking about the profit that we're generating okay in other words based upon our investments and whatever Right. they're going up at about 2% one and a half percent on different investments okay is that a and, year or a month uh it's the yearly not it's it's the yearly it's the it's the profit that the corporations and the investments are generating yeah at this quarter okay and it's only generating about two percent 
all this stuff. You need a different investment council. Well, that you know, might be true. That may be well, true. No, are you, but you, uh, looking at the same stuff a year ago, it was at 7%. Six percent. Well, there's been I, a drop in the market. I, I, I know, and and, and well, I and I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that drop in my 401k, as an example. Well, uh, it, I it, saw that drop. I saw that drop uh, take place. I have a Vanguard account, precipitously in the Vanguard account uh, when the stock market took a dump way back. It's 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 going back up now. But still, uh, I was sitting there just going, look at all this money I'm getting. It's just rolling in. And then all of a sudden, the bottom fell out of it. Are, are you uh, using, like, uh, are you an S&P index or anything like that? I don't know. Ask my business manager. He handles it for me. Uh, well, because that did very well. I mean, it, you know, it, it did better than the, just the stock market itself. Everybody's uh, leaving us like crazy. And that's because nobody's fucking calling. Where are you tonight? This is this well, has. I'm me. nobody here, and Jeff's nobody there. And <laughs> no, I mean no, I mean I, I enjoy both of you, but well, come on, folks, where are you tonight? Last night was terrific, you know, and we had a good discussion as a result of it. Here, I'm, you know, we're gonna it's gonna be the two of us talking with each other, and that can get pretty dull. Yeah, uh, we can talk about tech. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, please, let's not talk about tech. So uh, what I saw in Facebook is over the last couple days, mm -hmm. $120 billion. Now, I thought you said one day it went down 16% and the next day it went down another 13%. I thought it was... Uh, Something like that, not, yeah. No, that, that would have been, you know, 29%. What, what happened? It, they lost about 20% of their worth, is what yeah. was proffered yesterday. Uh, and uh, that's a big dump for a company. Yeah. You know, uh, you know I, I uh, said last night, I, I didn't think that Facebook was making any money. So I looked it up. They, uh, they got, I think it was $39, $39 billion of ad revenue. Um, and, fa and Apple... Uh, wasn't much greater than that. I think it might have been 53. So, you know, you, you look at something like Facebook, what do they create? You know, there's, there's nothing there. And at least Apple, you, you got something on the desk. Yeah, yeah. but, but there, there's, there's a difference. Yeah, think there, about the cost. Yeah, there's a, diff there's a difference here. Uh, Apple is selling hardware. Yeah. Which means they have to produce that hardware, and there's a cost to that. I understand, you but see, they but, have but, but, only you, fifty-three you, you, billion in profit. You, you know why? You know why? Why Microsoft was such a great deal for Bill Gates? They only made the software. They only made the software, and if 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 you want, all of a sudden nobody was buying the latest operating system. You simply throw out a bunch of disks, which cost you a penny a piece, and you no. make up new no. ones at a penny a piece. Now they figured out, hey, we can download this stuff, and we don't even have to have disks. Right. Right. So I mean, as a, but the, where they made a big mistake was is that Microsoft did go into hardware, but they did okay. They've done okay by it. Xbox. Oh, with the Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, and also the uh, uh, the uh, what is what is it the uh, Surface. Oh, the sur the uh, the tablet. Yeah, it seems to be doing okay, but mm. really they're a software company and. Apple is really a hardware company, and the only thing that makes them a software company is they c need to create the software to drive the, the hardware. Right. So yeah. it was proprietary. It was pro right. The whole thing's proprietary. In yeah. other words, you know, Apple they, maybe could have made a fortune if they had said, we're going to sell our operating system to other companies. Do you, do you know what that's called? It's called vertical integration. Uh, when you uh, have your own software, you make your own hardware, and so they're not reliant on outside vendors, and they can't be strangled by outside vendors because they're vertically integrated. And well, and that but, has yes, to but, do uh, but do you know? But you know who they strangle? You and me. Well, yeah, but don't you think you're getting? Look, they just came out with a new laptop, the i9. Uh, I saw a friend of mine did a. Uh, who, came, uh, who, came, who, who came out with the i9? 
It, it came out yesterday. The i9? It's not called the i9. Uh, yeah, it's uh, i9 is the processor. Oh, the processor is an i9. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's uh, the 2018 uh, MacBook Pro. Okay, so it's a MacBook Pro, but it's got an i9 processor. Well, yeah. you had i7s, and uh, I don't, I never, don't think we had an i8, but there we uh -huh. we have an i9 now. So, well, anyway, the I guess it's got better battery life. It uh, renders the programs much well, much better. Well, I mean, everything should get better, shouldn't it? Well, it should, but uh, you know, so Apple has just come out with this, talking about Apple. Yeah. That. Um, and I guess it's a really good no, system. But what I'm saying is is that Apple never sold their operating systems to anybody else. They did try for a short time. Hi, Mark. Do you remember when it's Apple... I know more about Apple than all of us. Remember when Apple, uh, uh, for a while, let another company make uh, a Mac OS yes. um, machines? OS. One was power computing, which I had. I had three of their computers. Uh, Radius was the other one, and Motorola. Really, I think I Motorola. Radius and, and that was after that was after Jobs left. No, no, just, yeah, that was after Jobs was fired. Before he came back. Yeah, and so they sold uh, their operating system to all these companies, and uh, figuring that, hey, number one, we'll make money off the operating system, and also there be more people using the Mac system. Uh, yeah. But uh, when Jobs came back, he sl slammed the door shut on that. Am I right about that, Mark? Oh boy, did he! <laughs> what happened? This monitor. But, it used to be it was on a swivel, and you could turn it uh, horizontal. No, that, that, or forget the monitor. That has nothing to do with the operating system. Oh, that wasn't the same company. It, it might have been the same company, but it's not. It's, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. But. It uh, it uh, um, what happened to those companies? I guess they just had to stop doing what they were doing, right? Or they had to go out of business, or oh, oh, uh, power computing definitely went out of business, yeah, big time, yeah, and you know, and for a while, yeah, they were making better Macs than Apple. <laughs> they well, just were. I you know I got I remember when I bought I didn't buy an Apple. Apple offered me an Apple. Oh boy. And this was after Jobs left. And what's his name was the head of the company. I'm trying to remember his name now. Scully. 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 And uh, uh, I, I kept saying you know, how much I like my PCs and how the PC was terrific. And they said, let's loan you a Mac. What they didn't tell me is they really weren't loaning me a Mac. They were giving me a Mac because they weren't going to take it back. And I had this thing and I started playing with it. It was the biggest piece of shit that I've ever used in my life. I mean, what I, I said it was the uh, uh, what was what was it called? There was a term for it: the Power PC or Power Mac or something like that. Or yeah, original Power PC. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, at one point I had a problem with it, so I figured I'd open it up and just look at the guts. Do you know what they were using to shield something from something else? Tin foil. <laughs> tin foil. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> I mean, Is it was the, the cheap, you know. Now, you open up this Mac Pro that I have down here on the floor now, and it's a beauty to look at on the inside. It's so solid, it's ridiculous. Is that the one that looked like a spaceship and it came in different colors? No, no, no. That was later on. That was under Jobs. That was the first IMAX that they came out with. Uh, they look like uh, they look like uh, a bubble gum or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, 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 well, you know, I mean, and they still that was the days when they still had tubes in there, so they needed something for the tube to fit in. <laughs> yeah, uh, they changed the whole concept of the iMac once they got the flat screen. You know, they got the current iMac configuration. Which is a lousy machine to buy, in my estimation. I have one over here, and I realize that if it ever blows, I've just got a brick of a screen sitting there. I was told you can't even upgrade the um, the memory, uh, the no. RAM, no. Uh, in that machine. No, you can't. Only the higher end models. Hmm? Only the, the higher end models. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, you, you can't do it on the higher end models, can you? Uh? Yeah, you can, but not the base models. 
Oh, I, no. I, uh, I think. Wait a minute. I did up. I did up. I did up the memory. <laughs> I did up the memory in her machine. There is a memory thing that you can pull out yeah. or put in or something to add some memory to it. Um, I, I add. You can. You can add. Mem well, you can't add memory to Minimax anymore, but you could, used to be able to. Well, the one that I got, you've got from me, has the. It was maxed out. Yeah, that had sixteen. Yeah, it had sixteen, and it's got the uh, the I fusion that. drive and stuff. It's a good little. It's a great. Little, it's it's. I in many ways, I'd say it's as good as my Mac Pro. You know, well, it I would told you it was a great machine. Would replace and, you know, it. You know, it, 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 it They're all the same. It would <laughs> easily replace it, except that it doesn't have a uh, a larger uh, uh, graphics board in it. Oh yes, it does. I got the. Uh, I got a graphics. Look at what it is. It it was the. It was a special one that you could only get by yeah, but, ordering directly. Yeah, from but it, but it still it doesn't it it uh, is, what, what can you I say? It's a couple of years old, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but but it but it's but it, no, it's it's great. It's terrific. I you know I have no no argument about it. I have no argument with the little one that I bought here. You know, yeah, the four ninety nine uh, one. No, it wasn't four ninety nine. It was like seven hundred, eight hundred, something like that. Yeah, I got you know more stuff in it, but. Right. Uh, all I'm saying is, is that 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 Apple could have perhaps made a fortune by selling out its software, but it never has, except in that one rare exception, while you know they had jobs out the door. Yeah, but they had uh, uh, kits for developers, and there was a lot of developers that developed apps for Apple, uh, no, that, because there's a there's sort of a following that's there almost. Was, there was no such thing as apps back then. Uh, yeah, there was. They had the, these developer kits. Yeah, to make programs, to write programs. Right, programs. Right. Remember programs? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't programs apps? <laughs> uh, no. Hey, <It's> Sarita. Right. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, hey, listen. I got to tell you something about Jobs. Everybody thinks Jobs is this was this genius, but I think Matt and Mark will even back me on this. He didn't like the idea of apps initially. He liked the apps that he had for it, but he didn't want third-party apps coming in. Yeah. And finally, he allowed some of them to do it, and all of a sudden, there was an explosion of iPhone sales, an explosion of iPad sales because of the, the, the apps. So they opened up, they allowed developers to develop the apps, which they had to approve, and they opened up the app store, and that's what drove. Am I right, Matt, Mark? That's what drove the sales on the iPhone. No. I don't know. He couldn't. I mean, I mean, he didn't like the idea of anybody else writing programs for his yeah. his equipment. Yeah. Well, when I uh, my first Apple, which, yeah. which was really my first computer that I owned, first yeah. Apple II, or. Yeah, I think it was a two. And uh, there was software, engineering software, that you could use to design products with. And all of a sudden, they stopped buying them. Yeah. And they wouldn't use them on, on any of the new products. And he made that decision himself. Why? Who knows? But I thought it was the dumbest what was that again? I, 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 I kind of not paying attention. Okay. Yeah. There was a major uh, application of designing products with what they used to call AutoCAD. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And and it was sold as an easy addition for the Mac, for not the Mac, but the Apple. 2E or whatever the heck it was. Yeah. Well, after a year, they decided, no, we're not going to cover that stuff anymore. And all the new computers, you can't buy it. Right. Oh, so it wasn't compatible with uh, that software anymore. It's, that's it. And they lost a huge, huge uh, number of customers based upon that and we started to go well what are we going to do now? mark has a questioning look on his face do you know what he's talking about mark well wasn't that from the that wasn't apple's fault that was the developers of autocad 
Well, I don't know who made the decision. I thought it was... Apple had nothing to do with that. Um, That's not an Apple decision. Apple just gives them the platform so they can write the software for it. Well, why would they not? Why would they not sell it for? Uh, or at that apply time, it? There are more PC users than Apple users, so you have all those resources developing the software. They didn't. I don't think they had two teams with uh, developers. I think they had one team trying to develop for two platforms, and the numbers at that time there were more PC users. There still so, are. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, well, now you have uh, virtual machine software. It doesn't make a difference. You can run both. Well, I, I, like, how, I like how I like Apple always used to like to brag that, uh, uh, well, you know, uh, there are there is not much malware uh, f- for the Mac, and there there are not many you know viruses uh, for the Mac. Mac hasn't seen any viruses. And the reason is, is that if you're going to go and make a virus, or you're going to go and uh, do some malware, are you going to do it for nine percent, seven percent, eight percent of the of the marketplace, or are you going to do it for the other ninety-two percent? That's There's what's kept Mac, Mac safe. Uh, if Mac had Mal- the majority out there, they'd be so full of fucking viruses, it'd be ridiculous. What's that Mac cleaner stuff that uh, oh, sometimes Mac I get? Keeper? I got to shut stay the machine away, off. Stay away from it. I know. I know, you know, and they and they try to download on top of other programs. Let's say you got to update your uh, your Adobe Flash or something, and uh, uh, so you go to do that, and then all of a sudden this stuff pops up. And why uh, doesn't wants- uh, why doesn't somebody stop those people? What, what, what? Why are they allowed to go on doing that, especially using the name Mac? Yeah. Well, they clean you all right. Yeah, no, if you, if, if folks, if any time you come across something which says Mac Keeper, it'll clean up your, it'll clean up your Mac and it'll get it all in order and stuff like that, do not install it. The only thing they don't have is the Indian accent that says we're from Microsoft and we're here to help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, d- don't, just do not. My name is Charlie. Yeah. Do not. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not l- download it. Allow it. Allow it to be downloaded. It will fuck up your machine. Yeah. And then it takes it. I had, I had to call Apple uh, because it it came on with something else, and I had to call Apple. They were able to fix it. How but, did they do uh, that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they they just they told me to press a couple of buttons and do a couple of things, and uh, it was gone. It was gone. Well, okay. Yeah. Well. I'm sure if you went online, you could probably find out how. Hey, folks, where are the callers tonight? This is ridiculous. Come on, a few more people, just to, to add to the fun and the excitement of this fine program. So good to see you, Mark. What have you been up to? Um, I, I was on vacation. I was up in um, Gainesville mm-hmm. for, for a week visiting a friend of mine. And... Uh, when you ran that test last week, I was thinking, oh, my God, Alex is on. I was staying with a friend of mine who was also a big fan of yours back in your PLJ and MCA days. And yeah. I figured, hey, you want to talk to my buddy Alex? And I realized, oh, you're just testing the feed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the only way I can I can test the feed is by actually going on the air and testing it, you know. And uh, I wanted to see if I could put it up on uh, YouTube and and Facebook at the same time. And I found out that I don't have enough power in this machine to do it. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, the, I remember, you know, I use Lightroom a lot. And with that Mac Mini, when I would do the sliders, uh, it wouldn't render right away. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with this new Mac, uh, it renders faster, but it still doesn't render as fast as, you know, it's not immediate. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how much power you really uh, can get from these machines. They're not, uh, you know, what do I need? A 12 core uh, in, in order? You know, the machine I mean, I got a six core Mac Pro, and uh, you know, I'm still it's still not rendering as fast as you know, it's not immediate. The machine I have here is is an eight core. So yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hello, Steve. How are you? I'm okay. We still I'm, need some I'm callers, not. folks. What? <laughs> I, I have a uh, technology question for you. You have a technology uh, for question for me. 
Okay. Yeah, when... I'm trying to remember, when did... You were talking about apps. When did apps start? Was it in the 90s? Was it that early? No, no. Apps didn't start... No. Apps were started with the iPhone. Oh, that's right. So, like, 07, 08, yeah. I About guess when, when 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 was when, when was uh, the when was the uh, iPhone I think started 07 yeah. I think 06 yeah. was 07 y- Yes Mark Was it 05 wow yeah. wow Yes Mark huh. is it, was it 05 No oh, maybe maybe it was a little later It's about 06 07 Yeah the minute that yeah, the right iPod, about there the yeah. iPod the minute iPod. the app store went on Right the- right yeah, and then, yeah. then the apps didn't come till about a year or two later, if I'm not mistaken. That's the only, right they're, now they're, coming back. The yeah. only apps that they had were their own, you know. I, um, right. For, right. For, uh, after I got divorced, I wanted to buy my kids something that they would like for Christmas. In other words, you and, were trying to buy their affection. Yes, that's what they told me. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. So uh, that day... I said, well, uh, I went to buy an iPod for each of them, and it was the first iPod that came out, and you couldn't get them. It was Christmas Eve or something, and uh, so I uh, I called the Apple store in Palo Alto, and they said, we have two that are coming in. So I drove from San Francisco to Palo Alto, paid $500 a piece for these things. Are you saying iPod? You mean the... iPod, the music thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the original iPod, five hundred bucks a piece, and uh, you know I, I, I packed them up and brought them back. But uh, I I looked at this and I said, you know, with the demand for this, I bet you if I bought Apple stock, it would be a smart move. Think I bought them? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know, I think it was around nineteen or something at the time uh, that the iPod came out. The iPod was a was a brilliant move. You yeah. know, it's not like they didn't invent something that didn't already exist. They just put it in a form that was easy for people to use and that they enjoyed using. In other words, it was the usability of it that made it. Because I think before that, I, I there were several companies that had, you know, uh, 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 MP3 players, but they just didn't have that sophistication in in style and look and the screen and the whole thing and it was style it was for it was form and factor and yeah. then the technology well i also bought two uh, cards that uh, had 25 dollars worth of music downloads and so my youngest daughter says to me oh well uh i can download 50 cent uh, the the singer and I said, why would you want to download 50 cent and pay 99 cents for the download? It's 50 cent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 50 now. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it used to cost 99 cents to, or, to download a, a, a Well, a I mean, uh, uh, still, you know, I, I've got to say, I mean, I bought music off of the, uh, off the store, you know, because it's, it's cheap enough. Yes, Mark. But I'll tell you, I think part of the success was the iTunes software. Because do you remember, Alex, you had, I think, Creative Labs had the Rio MP3 player yes, before. Yes, you're that. right. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so, they were the first out the door. But do you remember how many steps it took to digitize, convert, then load? Yep. You know, a CD? Yeah. Here's the iTunes store. Pop the damn CD in, hook up your iPod, done. It took a little time, but it was like end to that's what made, and, and the deal they made with the Warner Music Group, which saved the Warner Music Group. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, 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 Steve, there's a lot of noise coming off of your phone. So oh, I'll talk- mute as soon as I can. I have to just make my way around the puddle in this corner. And I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, um, I'll mute. I'm going to be off the main road anyway. Yeah, the i the iTunes uh, definitely made the whole thing. It was it made the package complete. I mean, you just stick your CD in there, and uh, uh, just press a button, and it puts it on your i i your iPod. Uh, and when, but you know, you 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 can't get an iPod anymore. As a matter of fact, my friend Shecky uh, had an iPod, and it uh, it finally went south on him, and since I had two iPods here, I I gave him one, 
and he was thrilled, but then he found out he didn't really need it. He didn't really need it because, hell, he has, you know, uh, Echo. And he just says, play Tony Bennett, and it plays <laughs> Tony Bennett for him. And uh, if you want to pay them something like four or three, three $3.95 a month, you can get any, uh, uh, millions and millions of selections to play on your Echo. Can you download any of those selections? No, or, uh, no. I, yeah. I guess you can. I guess you have the right to do that. Yeah, but wow. but but I just have it. So I I'm paying now eight ninety five a month. So it's on all my echoes because that's just for one echo, and on all my echoes and anything I try to stump it and it it's unstumpable. You know. I say wow. play me all Frank Sinatra from uh, nineteen forty, and they'll play me, you know, Frank Sinatra from nineteen forty. Try it with Duke. And it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I've done it with Duke Ellington, as a matter of fact. Yeah, um, uh, you know, it, 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 uh, it, so. But the the fact was that the reason the iPod was so became so popular was because of its ease of use and its usability for the for the user. Um, something a lot of companies could take a lesson from. You know, we talk about Skype and how they're changing to this new Skype, which may fuck what I do right now and the way in which I do it. And uh, nobody ever asked them, is this what people want? You know, the thing that Jobs had was this innate ability to understand what the common man wanted and needed. He wasn't really a techie. You know, uh, I had a friend who was a lot like him Paul Montgomery, who died, who, who ran a company called Play Incorporated. And the one thing that he and I used to revel in was both of, neither of us knew how to build this shit, but we knew what we wanted in it. And we knew what we wanted it to do. And that was where Jobs was so good. He really wasn't a techie at all, but he knew what he wanted to play with and how it would make him feel comfortable playing with it. And that's why he created so many great products. Yeah. You know, the iPhone was the next step. That was brilliant too. Hey, why don't we take the iPod and just put a, you know, and I've got now, I've got what this, uh, the, the highest amount of memory that they got because the, the iPod was a hard drive, you know. The highest mm -hmm. they got was 250, I believe. I have 250 in this phone right now in memory. Steve, <laughs> you're, uh, Audio okay, is let me, powering. Let me, uh, let me, uh, yeah. let me uh, mute it. I'm in a yeah. good spot to do yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. 250, uh, 250 gigs. On, on uh, 56 gigs on this uh, on this iPhone. Yeah. Um, I got the same one. Yeah, and, and you can put a lot of music on there. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've got. I downloaded one song, one one album. That's all I got on there. And I cannot figure out, every time I plug it into the car, to the uh, to the USB thing, mm -hmm. uh, it starts playing that goddamn album. I've taken it off. I don't have any music on my iPhone, I, I, except for the one, one album. And it just, it, I can't get rid of it. It's like a plague. I've even deleted it. I paid 10 bucks for it. I deleted everything that I could possibly delete, and it still comes back. <laughs> you know, it's like something from uh, Twilight Zone. <laughs> Mm. It could be. Have, it, it could be that it is. It is, you, it is on the cloud. It is. I think. And that it's playing it back from the cloud. Yeah. How do you stop it? I mean, it's. it's I don't even well, like the song you, anymore. You, you use, your, <laughs> use your Mac computer. Go to your iCloud account. Go up to the cloud uh, account. Look at all the things you got there and get rid of it. Ah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's my suggestion. Yeah. All right, uh, but I just don't know how to make it stop auto playing. But the, but and, the it, uh, and it keeps playing yeah. and playing and playing. The iPod <laughs> it also saved Apple. Yeah, you know they All went right. from being a computer company to a phone. It, 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 well, basically, with, with the iPhone, it, they became they became really a phone supplier. You know. you know what really made music was the Sony, um, it was a little cassette thing. I had one, Walkman. And uh, 
I remember in 1980, I think it was, uh, somebody let me listen to one once, and I said, wow, this, this is just a, a fantastic sound. I've never heard anything so good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then I, eventually I bought one. Actually, what's happened to us is our expectations of what sounds good has been diminished. Oh, because of digital? Because of digital. What right. you're hearing, and I, you know, I, 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 it's perfectly acceptable through your iPhone, is not as good as you used to get with like analog. You know, well, that, it, that's it, true. It, 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 you have, people have lowered their expectations of what they expect things to sound like. You know, you know what? You know what, though? It, 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 no, I was going to say it has gotten better. I mean, it's better than when CDs first came out. And that, you know what the problem is? is, is you, know, you know, you talked about this a long time ago, that 44-1 sampling is just not enough. That pro digital is good. Pro, you know, like in theaters and all, that's good. I like that, but I thank God I still have, I have thousands of records, and I won't give them up. And I have a good stylus and a good turntable, and I will not give them up. And if I want to listen to them, I'll listen to them. Good, and I hope you get a hernia, hernia lifting them. I uh, think everything oh, is a comparison. Yeah. You know, things. everything's a comparison. And, and what happens is, is, you know, let's say you used to listen to music through your receiver, uh, and you were watching television or something, and it and it was analog, uh, and and but it was the television signal, like a concert or something. Now, when you listen to a concert that comes over the cable, digitally provided through the television and the stereo, it uh, the sound is so much better than what we used to hear, you know. Through so when yeah. we look at that but comparison, all, all I'm saying is that what people listen to through earphones on their iPhone. Uh, yeah. it is it, it is you've lowered your expectations of what you expect to hear because you're not getting the full yeah. frequency yeah. that you would normally get. Definitely. But uh, uh, yes, uh, Mark. You know, and part of the thing is on a headphones like what you're using right now, Alex. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is the size of the driver. Mm -hmm. The driver's in there. What they're, they're smaller than a, a green pea, you know? Mm -hmm. And we're expecting that to. To work like a driver for a nice pair of over-the-head cans, right? And yes, they're getting better with it. They really are. I mean, I've heard some well headphones recently that kind of blew me away. But you're going to have to pay for them. Um, people, yeah, people don't understand. Go ahead, and I'll, I want to make some kind of comment about digital sound. Go ahead. Mark. No, I was, I, I was just going to say that people don't understand this, and I bet you. Uh, not just Alex. I bet you. Still, I bet you. Some of you can. can see, you know what I mean. It's hard to explain, but because of my vision and or lack of it, whatever, and because I'm so plugged into sound, <laughs> mm -hmm. I could hear when I listen to like a, especially a CD. I could hear that it's not a sine wave. I could hear that the waves are square. I could hear yeah, it. Yeah, but that's you, Steve. That's not that's, everybody. Yeah, that's, most people, see, yeah, most, that's, what I'm saying is most people aren't that discerning, and that's why I'm no, saying that we've no. lowered our expectations of what we hear. In other words, people go out and buy these Beats earphones and plug them into an iPhone and think they're getting just incredible sound, but they're not compared oh, to yeah, the sound they'd be not. getting from a good home system. You know. Yeah. Yep. You know. Also, I understood that when people have a disability like Steve, uh, sight sight wise, uh, your other senses become more acute. Yeah. You. It, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. It's definitely true. I'll tell you. Um, but the one thing that I do like about I like CDs. I like the ease of operation, and I also like that uh, the the lack of the, the, you do, you don't have harmonic distortion. And that, that's good. But other than that, I'll take my records. Uh, listen, <laughs> I like even better going, Echo, play Tony Bennett. <laughs> Echo, Great American Broadcast Network. No, I don't have one in here, Mark. So, that, In fact, I, I have three of them. And I no, installed the I'm other one. Worried. I was just worried that my Alexa was going to pick up on that. Well, it, it, no, because he calls it Echo. Well, I say Echo yeah. because <laughs> because in my household, saying Alex is a problem. Okay? 
Good. So I have it so that it goes with the term echo. Uh, and thank God we don't have our Chinese friends coming to visit because her name is Echo. So, uh, oh <laughs> but but uh, wow. it, 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 I, we use the term echo. So I go echo, you know. But I didn't put it in the studio because I knew because Alexa uh, or Echo uh, gets. Uh, I keep forgetting what the name of it is. It's actually called Echo, and Alexa is what you say to it. Um, you're making Mark nuts. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, every time you say it. See, in my bedroom, I call it have it called computer. When I was watching Star Trek, yeah, it's like, oh no. Sorry, well, I don't know. Well, does <laughs> yours? Let me ask you this question: Does yours get Alzheimer's now and then, and all of a sudden start babbling for no apparent reason? No, it hasn't gone zombie on me yet. Mine has. Uh oh. You see, what it is in the bedroom, in the bedroom, I have it, I have one of these little echo spots, which is really nice as a clock by your bed and so on, and it does all the echo stuff too. Uh, but it's right near one of my surround sound speakers. So for some reason, I don't know, some, some, tone or something goes off or whatever and all of a sudden she'll start babbling about well I really don't have an answer to that question but I'll look for, for it you know and I'm going what I didn't say anything they didn't say echo on the TV they didn't say anything like that so I think what <laughs> it is it, does the, huh my iPhone does that really you know, all, suddenly it, you know it'll think I said uh, hey Siri and here, here's boom. where here's where Apple oh, is there, it just did I, I, <laughs> here's here's where Apple is really fucked. Um, Siri sucks. Yes, uh, it's funny. I can't stand that. Boy. But Amazon with Echo, and I think Mark will agree with me, is far more accurate. Am I right? And, and I hear that the Google Assistant sounds pretty good too now. Well, when I'm when I'm texting, I use basically use Google to uh, uh, to uh, dictate. A text. I dictate all my texts, and it's, it's using Google. Far more accurate. But when I do stuff, yeah, Google. Yeah. I type with the finger. Really, my fingers. Forget it. They're, the the only time I use the uh, the audio thing is if I can't spell the word. I need to get a uh, uh, find another design. I maybe have somebody help me a little bit. I want to get a better design for the keypad on my phone and there are a lot of them out there i saw some good ones last year and i just didn't bother i should have at the time because there are some that you know i could see they look like a it looks like a control pen in a in an airport i mean it looks like an airplane you know well, you think, I, I wonder if there are any any uh, any rights groups that have gotten together and decided to uh, yell and scream about the fact that uh uh apple or uh, all these companies should actually make braille capable keyboards. They should. You know, for yeah. the phone. For the phone. I, oh. Well, how would you do that? Well, I don't know, but you know, there's such the, geniuses there. Sure they got a genius bar. Figure it out for yourself. There's an overlay. Yeah. Is there really? There, there, there is a company that makes an overlay that fits right where the keyboard but the problem is you got to be lugging around the overlay, the Braille overlay. Um, there was a patent. One, one of the Apple news sites pointed to an interesting LED, LCD screen that actually gave, I guess, the idea that it could make a shape. The surface can change. Yeah. And I, people were saying this might be the direction for giving a feel, like, an, like a tactile feel, feel to the surface of an LED LCD screen. I think that's the solution. People were saying this would be great for Braille. But they're probably not working too hard on it because, quite frankly, you know, they don't, the, the, the blind um, uh, or visually impaired uh, population is not large enough to make it necessarily important for them to develop this you know you know when i learned to type it was on an <laughs> ibm selection 
And uh, oh, yeah. I, I always yeah. liked the feel of that kind of keyboard. And what now these, these chiclets that they have don't feel that way. But yeah. I was on Facebook, an ad popped up that had this retro keyboard that's supposed to have that feel. Uh, I haven't bought well, it. this piece of cheesy shit. Is you that know? the one I sent you? <laughs> huh? No, no, the, the, the one you sent me is in the other room. The, it, and, and this one has, a, I can plug it in. Here, oh, here, here again is, is another piece of Apple's brilliant engineering. I hope everybody's interested in this. Because nobody else is calling about anything else. So, you know, I got yeah. something else to talk about. We'll do that in a minute. The, in order to charge it, it's got a thing right here, right? And you just put your same one you use in your iPhone to charge it. Uh, although I have a thing where I use a pad and it's induction now into this new phone, but uh, and that's fine because you can you can plug it in and then you can keep typing. Well, on the mouse, they have uh, this is a, again a magic mouse, and it uh, it it is the mouse and it has another input just like on the keyboard for the charging. There's only one problem. It's right here, folks. Can you all oh, see where I'm pointing? Can't use it while so it's that charging. when you when you charge it, when you put it in, you can't you can't use it. Now, why didn't they just put it like somewhere like right on the bottom here? You know, don't they have an induction? You have mouse? to buy a magic trackpad while that charges. Yeah, don't they have an induction? I have a I have a trackpad that I use while it's charging. Yeah, what what'd yeah. you say, Phil? Don't they have a mouse that uh, works uh, charges on an induction pad, so you can just you know, leave it on the pad? Not, when you're not uh, yes, it? I do. I have one in the other room, but I had to buy a special battery to mm -hmm. put in there. It's rechargeable, and then it's a little pad, and then I just put it on the pad, and it charges it. Oh, talking about batteries today, I almost I almost had a real mishap. Uh, I had two AAA. E loops batteries. These are uh, rechargeable lit, uh, batteries, mm -hmm. and uh, I had taken them out of, the, uh, of a device because I have a maybe 30, 40 batteries, and uh, put them in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And my keys were in my pocket, and then all of a sudden I started feeling something that was really warm. I, I mean, it was hot, and and my keys were hot. And uh, then I, I reached into my pocket, and there were the batteries, and they were burning in my hand. They weren't on fire yet, but they were so hot, I actually threw them out into the parking lot uh, yeah. so, because I couldn't hold them in my hand. Uh, I've, had that, I've had that happen. I've had that, yeah, they've been so hot. Yeah, yeah. So what, what had happened was the keys and the, uh, and the fob and so forth that I had must have caused them to short. And uh, that's the same kind of thing that maybe happens on airplanes, uh, you know, where yeah, uh, batteries yeah. explode, and in people's phones when the battery explodes, there's some sort of short. Yeah. Uh, and but it was I threw the batteries away because uh, you know I didn't want to take a chance of using them and screwing up my charger. I've been joined by Ray Renati. Are you there, Ray? Uh, yes, I am. There you are, and he's at I home am. today. He isn't out walking the dog. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Just got off my bike. Yeah. So, I got uh, my bike and walked right over here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you called. Uh, Thank it, you. It, so we have uh, Jeff here, and we have Mark, and we have Steve, and we have Ray, and we have Phil. So uh, it's a nice little uh, little batch of people here that we've got. Uh, yeah. Listen, I want to I want to bring something up here. Let's let's change the discussion away from uh, uh, Apple. Apple. Uh, and away from technology for a second. And let's get to something that is very interesting because you want to talk about stock going down. Um, the uh, stock for um, Facebook, for uh, CBS dropped today precipitously. Why? Uh, what do they attribute that to? Oh. Les Moonves. Les no. Moonves. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah, right. This this little piece of shit, Ronan Farrow, who I cannot stand, you know, uh, he decided to go after Les Moonves, hmm. and uh, you know he's been he's the so he's the person that that uh, found uh, you know get, did the original he didn't really do the original Harvey Weinstein story, 
somebody else did, but the, he got it out first. Yeah. Okay. And we so tr- got a lot of credit for that. So then he's been outing everybody, right? He's been doing these constant stories for the New Yorker about uh, sexual improprieties on the part of the rich and famous. And uh, he now has done a whole thing on CBS and the fact that Les Moonves, he has six women who say that over the years, over the years, uh, he has made improper advances towards them. Uh, And uh, uh, this was so impactful on CBS that the stock dropped precipitously today. That's how important Les Moonves is to CBS. Although maybe if they fire him, they'll find out he isn't as important as they thought. But, you know. Kind of like Matt Lauer. Yeah. Kind of like Matt Lauer. Yeah, they were always afraid of getting rid of him. Nobody liked Matt Lauer, but nobody wanted to get rid of him. I didn't like him. No, 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 it doesn't matter whether you didn't like him. I'm talking about people who work for him. Right. Oh, right, right, right. Nobody. But Les Moonves is on the like the corporate side of things, right? He's not an actual like oh, he uh, knows. TV personality. Pro- oh, right? he's got his finger in programming so thick that, you know. Oh, really? If it were a woman, it would squeal, okay? Uh, he is, no, he's, he, he's pretty much it. Anyway, he has been, yeah. there was something like uh, six women, including I- Ileana Douglas. You know who that actress is? No. Who accused him I know the of, name. of coming on to her, and that uh, 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 her career at CBS was affected by not not. Wasn't sleeping. she on the Beverly Hillbillies? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas. Uh, well, I remember Letterman used to make little pokes at him all the time. Well, he and oh, he yeah. and Letterman hated each. He hated Letterman, and Letterman hated him for years. And then all of a sudden, they really got to like each other a lot. But anyway. Uh, uh, here are there allegations of unwanted kissing and touching. <laughs> yep. yep. You know, um, this is a long way from shoving your dick into somebody. You know. <laughs> I mean, how uh, how uh, how uh, are, are we going to have whole corporate uh, whole stock start failing because this little twerp Ronan Farrow found six women who felt that Les Moonves 20 years ago came on to them. <laughs> you know, when at that time, nobody said it was inappropriate. I mean, he said that he never, he said he would never, he, that he, what did he say? He, uh, I, mean, I don't I think I have his statements here, but he came out with a statement saying that he probably over the years had uh, uh, come on to some women and uh, if he made them feel uncomfortable, he feels terrible about that. But that he went, but he always realized that the word "no" meant "no." That's what how he put it. I always re- respected the fact that the word "no" meant "no." And uh, so now, what's going to happen to Les Moonves? Now, this is a guy whose CBS's fortunes are tied to at this point. He he knows where the bodies are buried. You know, he knows how to make. TV shows that sell and how to run networks. And, you know, he's done very well for CBS over the years. What do you think is going to happen to him? Nothing. I nothing. hope nothing. I, I, I think the Me Too movement is pretty much over. It isn't a question uh, of the Me maybe, Too I movement. Don't know. They're, they're it is, it out, isn't so. a question that the Me Too movement is over or not over. Uh, Ronan Farrow isn't over. No, but it's you know, uh, it's it's a topic that's sort of going away, <laughs> almost like Black Lives Matter. Well, I think those people who are accused now are it's less impactful than it yeah. was when you were yeah, the first on the list. Uh, they just uh, AMC just reinstated this guy. What's his name? Who does uh, the uh, you know the, Chris, Hardwick. Chris Hardwick? Yeah, who does like after talking Walking Dead or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Talking Dead. Uh, uh, talking, uh, uh, breaking bad. Walking, uh, walking tall. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> look at us. We're walking. Look at us. We're they, walking. they, they put Chris Hardwick on waivers because of accusations against him, and now they have said, "Well, we're bringing him back." Now they didn't say we found that he was innocent of everything. They just decided to bring him back. So if the, he, Chris Hardwick, had been part of this in the beginning of the Me Too movement, I don't think he'd be working right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Would you agree with that, Mark? Yeah, probably. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know. So it, it's kind of set and setting more than anything else. And, uh, you know, we don't, we don't hear anything about Kevin Spacey. And yet nobody, you know, nobody, he's ne never been legally charged with anything. And yet I don't think we're going to see him in another movie again anytime soon. Right? Um, well, one of the women, one of the women here claims that uh, she threatened to ruin her career if he, if she didn't acquiesce to what he wanted. I don't know if it's true. Okay, well, that, but, but you know Speak. something? If you say it to Ronan Farrow and he publishes it, that makes it true. No, no, but I'm he, not saying but it he, is true. He I'm has, saying yeah, no, what, what I'm said. saying is the trouble with Ronan Farrow is how far does he vet these claims? Right. You know, right. Uh, it's very easy for somebody to make a claim because they either want publicity mm -hmm. or they want some money or something like that. Uh, all this stuff, especially in this kind of situation, since the, the, the ruin that it can do on a career is immense, oh, yeah. it should be very well vetted. And it doesn't look like Rodan Farrow did any vetting. He just listened to women saying, oh, yeah, he touched me on my pee-pee, and uh, I, I didn't get a job after that. Maybe you were a lousy actress. I don't know. <sighs> Amazing. You know, and and he did he did you know he did wind up fucking the help because he married her. You know? Yeah, and so, she's sticking by him. It says here. I'm sure she is, and I'm sure he's yeah. probably been a good boy since he uh, you know. Yeah. Because uh, she doesn't look like the kind of woman you exactly fuck around with. You know. No. Definitely <laughs> uh, not. This guy, he goes from like a a two bit actor, right? Yeah, that's what he was. Yes, absolutely. You, you know, to me. It's like if Radar became the old, you know the CEO of us. Uh, it's it just boggles the mind. He was uh, he was on I think it shows like Gunsmoke or something. I don't know. I can't remember. They've shown some clips occasionally of him, and he was a failed actor, who slowly but surely became the, probably the most powerful man in broadcasting. <laughs> Certainly runs the biggest network in broadcasting, the most successful network in broadcasting, uh, and um, you're right. You know, uh, but it, it, I, I, I just, I think somebody has to start putting Ronan Farrow's feet to the fire and say, come on, you don't just say so-and-so told me this and so-and-so told me this. And they're all anonymous except for, I think, Ileana Douglas. Is this uh, another example of fake news? No, it's not fake news. It's irresponsible journalism. What's the difference? Uh, one, I guess, I guess, in, I, I, I would say that number one, there is no such thing as fake news. Isn't it all irresponsible journalism? N no, I'd say most of the organizations out there are very responsible as journalists. Hello, Renee. Yay! Yeah. We, we thought you were dead or something from volcano smoke. No, but if you send me more Republicans, I'll throw them in the volcano. Oh, okay, fake. good, because Pele loves to eat Republicans. Yeah, fake. well, see, I'm trying to go get a GoFundMe page to actually send an orange person into the black hole with a GPS tracker to find out exactly what's going to happen. I thought a live test would be okay. Yeah. Wow, uh, this Skype is pretty, isn't it? Your neighbor says that the VOG is headed over your way. Mm-hmm. Jim James. Yeah, it's been here for weeks. We get, we get clear. So right now, the sky is literally the same color as the ocean, gray. You couldn't okay. tell the difference. Um, mm -hmm. We've had this weather for weeks. Really? Yeah, we only get to. We got to see the sun last week for probably like a day and a half. Wow. But that's. But we've had the. So what happens is, is this is this is where the volcano is, and the wind brings the weather up here. So it goes around the bottom of the island, and for some reason, it gets pushed this way. So yeah, Hilo looks really nice. That volcano. <laughs> that vol <laughs> That volcano has absolutely no desire to stop. Does it? I no, mean, it is just. They say they don't. They have no. Uh, people say, well, when is it going to stop? doing this and they say we have no idea it could be years mm -hmm. when, when you put sacrifices for the peas the volcano god yes. that's you know <laughs> yeah you're yeah. just not doing the right stuff you know uh, uh, clearly you know <laughs>
Yeah, no, I'm going on the, so in two weeks, I've got my seasickness medication somewhere here, and I'm going on the lava boat tour, and so. Oh, really, where the lava comes and hits your boat? Mm Mm-hmm, that one. (laughs) <laughs> well, that that one can no longer go within 150 feet of the lava. Now it's a thousand feet, right? Um, I think it's still at at 500, but they just feel they just had the meeting yesterday, and I don't know what the rule is. So what it was is they had a specific distance they had to stay away from the coast because of the the lays and but they, they had. You, a you, you know what I think would be really fun is if you took duck boats. And let them go within 500 feet of the lava. Oh, you don't need that. They sink on their own. There's, just, <laughs> there's no reason to add a volcano to those. <laughs> so, so what it was is you had your what is that called? Safety your stuff. yeah, but you had your discretion. If you were the captain, you, so let's just say this was the the actual lava coming into the ocean. You had a discretion in that in that zone. That, so the, that company that had the, Everybody had the bomb go through it, mm-hmm. they, they had a permit, I understood, that mm-hmm. allowed them to go within 150 feet. Yeah. But other people didn't have that permit. N- not all companies had that availability, but now here's your point. Because they had this permit and because this happened, nobody gets to go that close anymore. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's removed from that. So there's no specialties anymore. Okay. I am taking a whole lot of cash, so if the guy driving the boats listening i'm gonna be well I, i'm real happy as long as i can get my shots <laughs> but i'll be dishing that baby out <laughs> yeah let me just say this uh, that uh for people who don't know uh renee because it, the picture no matter where you're calling from now looks good whether you're in europe or whether you're in wherever uh we even had uh, shots from manila and an iphone or not an iphone but a russian act Alcatel. I saw that. Yeah. You know they're listening to a Russian phone. From from Manila. Uh, 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 She is in Hawaii. She is on the big island. She is on the island where that volcano is uh, doing its stuff. And uh, I got to say something. As deadly as it is, it's beautiful. Don't you wish you were there, Mark, taking pictures? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, I can't wait for that. So the good news about being fat, everyone, just just to let you know, the good news when you go on a helico- uh, on an airplane or a, hel- a small, el- small airplane or a helicopter when you're fat, you get to sit, because the weight distribution in this case, I get to sit next to the window guaranteed. I don't have to pay to an upgrade or anything. But because of my weight, I'm going to have to sit on one side so that the helicopter doesn't have a problem. Yeah, but suppose there's a fatter person than you on the plane. Then you may have to move over to another area. Well, I, no, I'm hoping they'll set him in the center. <laughs> by the way, you don't I, look that huge. I <laughs> had a, I had a, uh, a, a deal where uh, through American Express, I got a free helicopter ride from Nice to Monaco. And uh, and I had to pay for my kids, but when I so there was only four people in the helicopter. My N- kids. East to Monaco ex-wife. is about five minutes, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was a short <laughs> ride. But my kids had never been in a helicopter before, and they put them in the front where it's glass oh, underneath. Yeah. And, you know, the helicopter starts going up. You should have seen their faces and the <laughs> smile on their faces of, of the yeah. experience. Uh, uh, the helicopter so i know and i know kind of what you're going through so the helicopter i'm gonna do the doors off one yeah and they're so i'm strap, like are they gonna yeah they're, they'll they strap well them. then if we need a sacrifice to pele all they need to do That's is right. just push you <laughs> out the helicopter yeah um all the helicopters they go every hour almost on the hour so people if you're here and you want a helicopter ride it's cheapest to drive to Hilo, but the, it's but like Pedro, every, how, cl- how, clo- how close do they get to the volcano? Because, you know, you don't want uh, uh, a, a helicopter getting too close because uh, the uh, air and the, it's you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it will clog up the whole works and the helicopter right. will stop working. There's a, I have a movie uh, on how they made the movies for Cinerama. And there's one in which they went over a volcano and they almost got killed because as they got over the volcano while it was spewing, okay, 
their engine there. started to go, and they just made it to the lip of the volcano wow. bef before they were almost going to crash. And, and uh, their Wars. engines this, this started. This guy I again. know uh, used to work for uh, DJI quadcopter, you know, the yeah. ones that make the drones. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he flew, uh, uh, with government approval, uh, a, heli uh, uh, a, a drone. drone into a volcano in Iceland. And then he also had another drone photographing the drone that flew into the volcano. When it came, when he got it back, uh, the quadcopter had almost melted. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he was. You know, uh, I, I, you can look him up. His name is Eric Chang. Uh, he's currently the director of photography for uh, Facebook. Yeah. So I need to give you guys a YouTube channel. Everybody listening. The United States military is the people doing the flyovers, and they have the, the clearance to actually do, I can't find my YouTube, they actually have the clearance to fly as close as possible to the volcano because they have the measuring equipment in there. What, the, uh, what they do is they produce it and they put it on YouTube under the United States military. And they're also allowed, and some of the really cool footage, which I'm going to go back and watch because you're going to want to see this one, is they took a U.S. military drone into that. Remember, the upper part of the volcano is not exploding except for once every 24 hours. Fissures, it's a different kind of Exactly. Volcano. So Playful. they took a drone into the into the crater that's collapsing all the time, and you can actually see them fly where where it used to be, how big it is now. You can see the the walls just scaling down off of, and so the they were getting a little too too um, Aggressive. brave with the drone, so they backed the drone up. But I'll get you guys the military URL for the YouTube. When I find YouTube and why I had to get a new computer, that was the other thing I was doing while I was gone. Mm. What'd you get? We were just talking about computers. I know. I heard you. <laughs> it, it, I've, I've been listening. I just haven't called you guys. Um, it, it looks new i nine Mac. It looks good. Oh, no, honey, you just so sad. <laughs> well, you got fourteen days to take it back. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I have a MacBook, an iMac. Pro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, yes, Mark. <laughs> Would you like to play with it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'm stuck. I was stuck in between. My comp my other computer was dying. It was it's eight six to eight years old, and because Apple only announced software in May or June and didn't announce any hardware, and they're not going to announce hardware for another what about another four weeks when their next meeting is. And even if they announce a brand new desktop, I'm not going to be able to touch it until sometime in 2019. So I bit the bullet. I got the, I got the student discount <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was only like $400 difference between me jacking up the price on the old iMac to get the iMac pro. Mm, so, yeah. and how I much did. was that? Oh no, honey, you don't want to know. Is it got the 27 inch screen or is it bigger? Oh, it's 27 inches. Yeah. yeah very nice. Yeah. Why would you go small? <laughs> yeah. So what I've been working on is my, my home pod, my, both of my Apple televisions, my f cell phone, my iMac, my, my iPad. They're all linked now. I was having a lot of connectivity problems, but Apple hooked me up. So, I can run everything from almost anywhere. Well, you of course you learned how to how to make it so that if you change something on any of your uh, Apple TVs, it will change on the other Apple TV, like the yes, icons and absolutely. things like that. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what I love about the Apple TV, and I have three of them. I have two that are 4Ks and one that's 1K or whatever. Uh, what I love about it, and what I love about the 4K especially, are the screen savers. Those the pictures of the aerial shots of uh, deserts and Dubai uh, and I changed mine to my own photos. So my oh, so now I've got go a back and watch go shot. watch some of those aerial screenshots. Maybe they are breathtaking. Photos. No, but they are <laughs> no they're breathtaking. There's 
a skyline view on the Samsung television of a city done by a drone. And I know that they enhance that because it's almost like the screensaver comes at you. It's like your flying. Well, that's what it, the, it was, it's very impressive. That's what the, aerial fo- what the aerial photos of Dubai look like. It looks oh, like see. they enhance them. Uh, it, it, you may have seen the exact thing they're using as a as a screensaver. You know what I'm talking about, Mark? You you probably yeah. the thing with the Apple one. If this is the ones I'm thinking about, mm-hmm. those are actually 4K video clips. Yes, really. Because if you look carefully, especially going up the river, you see yeah. movement. So see, I'm, and- yeah, it's like is this a live view? I'm thinking no. It's just a, but it's so beautiful. Well, see, I thought I was drinking when it was moving. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's nice. So but you're what, right; it is really pretty. So I didn't realize it was video. I old thought school it. guys, uh, have you discovered Lumineers Mac Fun software? Uh, as uh, you know, it's got filters and uh, and and so forth, and it works also as a Lightroom plugin. It's called Lumineer, and uh, it's I think sixty bucks. It, it, it's amazing what you can do with it as far as editing and. Uh, I don't want to learn any more software. Oh, well, somebody it's says it's software, so and I'm a let him of, let him buy some Jennifer. time on this program to plug it. You know. Yeah, yeah, Lumineer. Oh, so on the other side, I got an iPhone 10. I bid it. Yeah, well, well <laughs> yeah. So so did I. Yeah, <laughs> it, you know, it's 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 absolutely it's wonderful. And now that everything is synced and my home kit is synced. I can frickin' do anything well, from frickin' anywhere on the well, planet. Well, Thank I, you, Apple's engineers. Well, I think it's amazing it's, that it recognizes me when my wife doesn't. You know, so it... <laughs> it uh, well, what's, it, what's the Apple uh, Wi-Fi thing? It's like a white canister. Uh, yeah, it's an uh, airport air time capsule. Airport. Yeah, airport. Uh, they don't make them anymore. Uh, you know no, why? they are still making them, but they're end of lifing them. Yeah. yeah. And so I wrote them a letter because I... I what I want them to do since since Siri sucks so bad. I want them <laughs> to stop manufacturing Siri and team up with Sonos and yeah. let Sonos handle the stereo stuff and allow Apple to continue to manufacture yeah, well, that, that their airport. Wait a minute. What what is what 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 is, what is uh what is Ray going for? What is yeah. that Ray? Painted as silver Buddha. You painted yeah. silver. A Buddha. So oh. Matsuki or something. I'm just getting bored, so yeah. I have to I'm keep sorry, myself. Sorry, we're talking tech. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll pick something else. Well, <laughs> what, 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 what are those communion cookies in the in the bucket? No, 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 no they're, they're little a, nuts. They're uh, they're <laughs> almonds. Oh. Chocolate co- almonds. Co- almonds. Yeah. Oh, of course, the Kirkland. Um, yes, I I, yeah, I have those. Good, man. Yeah, they're good, man. Very good. And and. So Ray, your dog. It was so cute watching watching you walk. Your dog is just very cute. I oh, like you that. like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you walk where I used to walk. You used to live here. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's right. You told me. Yes, of course. But hey, I Alex. Have to tell you, yeah. It's hotter fucking in Texas and in the middle of the United States than it is in Hawaii. Hey, you hear I'm the you hear the lot. you hear the music. My parents live in the foothills of Sierras, and it was a hundred and one. Whoa, 103. buddy. Not yeah. even close. Not even with humidity. Gee, close to it was that. 82 degrees here today. <sighs> 72 in Palo Alto. Yeah. Hey, listen. Well, I, we got to go. The music's playing. You know. Uh, okay. Hey, Alex. Could you get one of the crew? One of you? Could somebody start a GoFundMe page for me so I don't have to uh, pinch groceries from the store at the end of the month? Not really. <laughs> not really. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Uh, I'm, uh, all right. Yeah. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much for calling tonight. Mark, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Ray, always a pleasure. Phil. Okay, and uh, uh, Steve, thank you so much. And Renee, we're so glad you're you're back with us again. And you look better than ever because that machine is just kicking fucking butt. Uh, I think you lost weight. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at Phil being a Republican. Yeah, Lying yeah, to yeah. Face. Anyway, why doesn't why doesn't everybody give a big uh, big wave goodbye so that they can all all see? There we go. That's our citizen panel. Good citizen panel got a nice night tonight just nice and just simple discussion about this that and the other thing and uh nothing too terribly political going on 
uh, and uh, I, I, uh, I thank them for calling and you for listening. And I want you to stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next with the intersection. And then after that, at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, it's a repeat because they're not live. They're not uh, new tonight uh, of Connections. And we'll see you again uh, right after uh, uh, Damien Chaplin hits the airwaves on Tuesday at 9.30. We'll see you at 10 o'clock. Same time, as I always like to say, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody.